Hello, Scorpio. My name is Missy, and I'm here to do the bullshit and the blessings. We're going to go ahead and get right into the reading. I'm going to pull a card from the Edgar Allan Poe uh, deck as our oracle. Then we'll get a couple of um, cards from the TV series Tarot, as well as a fortune card to round out the reading, and then some charms to see how each day will play out. So these readings are meant to be timeless and general in nature. If the details fit, it is meant for you. If they do not, please do not try to make them fit. That will do more harm than good and is not my intention. Um, I am I am not a doctor, lawyer, or accountant. If you need, uh, if you, <laughs> I don't know why I'm stumbling over this this thing. Anyway, I'm not a doctor, lawyer, or accountant. If you need advice in any of those areas, please consult a professional. Please do not do something simply because I suggest it in one of these videos. You are an adult who has responsibility for your life. Please use that responsibility to your advantage. Um, and let's get right into the reading. Oh my God, I didn't mean to do that, but we're going to take this one, which is the Page of Cups. So again, it's the Page of Cups. You know, obviously it's talking, you know, it's got the inner child here. This inner child looks kind of angry, right? Um, I actually feel like she's even though it's not completely depicted here, but it kind of almost looks like she's got her hands, her own hands around her own neck, like she's choking herself. And so right here it says, oh, that my young life were a lasting dream. Uh, very interesting. I kind of feel like, um, you gotta, I just gotta be really honest. I feel like there's some kind of, like you're doing something that's harmful to yourself, or maybe you're doing like you're, you're, you're suffocating yourself in some way. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. Um, and as you can see, he's got a lot of things on his mind, right? And so the card says, And have I not told you that when you mistake, that what you mistake for madness is but over acuteness of the sense? Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is saying you're stuck in your head, basically. You're, you're way too stuck in your head, and that's a problem. It's actually toxic for you. So that's something that they want you to focus on this week. All right, let's get some tarot cards. Okay, so we've got a page of pentacles, which is paying attention to the details, which we already know that you're doing because you're stuck in your head with way too many thoughts. So that makes sense. All right. And now we've got the ten of wands and the page of cups. Interesting. Um, so this particular ten of wands, it looks like he's delivering some sort of gift but it's a burden. I don't know. Um, see? All those bows. Half of them are pink, half of them are blue. Which kind of makes me think about babies, right? Look at the people on the porch. They're all happy to see him greeting him as he brings all of those, those wands home. But it is a heavy burden. You can see by the way he's carrying them, right? You can tell it's heavy. Um, interesting. I don't know. There's a family and baby aspect that I'm seeing here with this particular card. So uh, maybe there's something going on, especially with this Page of Cups. Like, that's kind of the Page of Cups energy. We do have the magician on the bottom of the deck. So either, either you want to have a baby, you're going to have a baby, you're trying to have a baby, or you're trying to create something. 
or you have created something that maybe has been difficult in some way. Oh, it's so weird. We have the song um, Standing in My Way by Debbie Harry playing in the background. I don't know how that plays into this unless maybe you're feeling like your family is a burden in some way or maybe your family is preventing you from doing something. I don't know. You have to take that however it resonates, but... Um, You know, I'm not going to lie, some people do see parent, parenthood and children as a burden, as, you know, something that um, um, they maybe, if, especially if, well, I, okay, look, I've got to be honest, going by this song, I don't know if this is you or not, but like if, you know, maybe there is somebody that um, it's possible maybe they look at parenthood or, you know, an, in, an impending pregnancy as a bit of a burden or something to be feared. Um, so I just have to put it out there because that's what I'm picking up, you know, based on the energy that I'm seeing. Especially because being stuck in your head, paying attention to all of these details, this card is definitely about a burden. Like, it's just kind of coming all into play for me. But let's see. If it's not an actual baby, it's something about family and commitment and and the possibility of I don't know why I wanted to and we're just gonna cut it and just take a oh. oh look at we've got an unsettling force or a female of eighteen years of age or older with a dark with a darker complexion. Okay, interesting, very interesting. And then look, you've got trouble, strife, conflict, paternal authority, and maternal nurturing strength and wisdom with duty and sensuality. Okay, um, I'm just going to leave that there. You take that however it resonates. I don't think I need to say a whole hell of a lot about this, right? Like, I think that's pretty obvious energy. Let's go ahead and get some... Uh, charms to see what else is happening for the week. Oh, that was my fault. I ended up accidentally tossing some outside of the board. But here's the thing. I don't ever take anything for granted. So let's read it. We have one letter, which is the letter H. Um, we have the axe. Um, so there's someone that needs to be someone or something that needs to be cut out of your life. And then we have the term that says, I can now all of that fell outside of this board. So that, that means that this particular energy of someone or something needing to be cut away from your life is you're going to need to do it within the next several months to a year. It's not something that needs to be done immediately. Um, but it does need to be done. Now, on Sunday and Monday, we don't really have anything, but then on, t well, between Monday and Tuesday, we have the horse. So there is the energy of, like, freedom and independence, right? Look at, he's he's literally mid-run. Look at the way his tail and his mane are just flying behind him. So there's fast movement also with this particular horse. So um, take that however it resonates. Uh, and then on Tuesday, we have the panther. Okay. Oh, very interesting. This is like energy of being stealthy, fast but stealthy with these two animals. And then look, we have another animal, which is the kangaroo on Wednesday. So the thing about the kangaroo is they're kind of like, they're kind of tough, right? Like they'll kick your ass and those feet right there, like they can, they can hold, use that tail to hold themselves up so that they can get those feet and just claw you from, you know, sternum to, um, yeah, all the way down. Um, but there's also like, like they're fighters. That's what's coming to the fore right now in my mind as I see this. Like maybe on Wednesday you're going to have to fight. Um, but also there's that protection. Look at the baby in the pouch. There's something about protecting someone or something. Um, having to fight to protect someone or something. 
they're both looking this way. Maybe, I don't know, you take that however it resonates, but that does have to, or hopping from one place to the other can be another, because, you know, kangaroos do jump, or jumping from one thing to the other, um, jumping into a fight, jumping from one fight to the next, but I do feel like there's a protective quality because of the baby that's in the pouch there. All right, so on Thursday we have the sun rune and... Uh, the rune for uh, movement, and and then we have the the charm that says I choose strength. So the sun rune is actually a very positive rune all the time. Like the sun is the power, like the power of the sun. Right? It's 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 literally power is the energy that comes through. Um, so strength is your power to get things moving on Thursday. Um, and then we've got the $20 bill on Friday. So you may have some expenses or some losses on Friday. Um, and then on Saturday, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, well, you've got the envelope here. So you may get you may hear from a Pisces or, you know, there may be some, some sort of message that's received from or about a Pisces. Okay, so I hope that resonates. If it does not, uh, please stick around. There may be another reading for you here on the channel that does. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever you can um, to help me get my channel out there as I'm new here. Um, and I thank you for watching.